Hi, I'm Wayne Tuttle, and welcome to Chasing Legends. Welcome back to Chasing Legends. I'm Wayne Tuttle. I'm your host once again. This is the first part of a two-parter where we're actually going to be traveling into the Superstition Mountains via maps. So this will be satellite and um, aerial photography and we're going to show you the sites and places where we film Legend Superstition Mountains. But before we go any further, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a comment if you want to comment. This is something that people have been asking for for a long time. So we're trying to adjust and kind of do what people have asked for. And additionally, go to the R about section down the line there off to the your right and my left, but go down to that about section, hit represent.com, pick up a shirt, Dutch Hunter Rendezvous, Legend of Superstition Mountains, long sleeve, short sleeve, gray or black. All right, thank you. And now on to the message we have for you this week. All right, welcome to Chasing Legends. Um, this week, what we're going to do, and we'll do a series of these, if people have asked, uh, show us locations, talk about locations where you guys film. So we're going to start with Legend of the Superstition Mountains, and we'll start with the pilot program and the casting calls, and we'll work our way through the series, showing you various locations where we filmed at and where we accomplished a lot of things. Right here, if you follow my cursor, this is the Gold Canyon Resort. And the Gold Canyon Resort, we met here for breakfast right here. Now, all the guys stayed at the Best Western Motel. Now, there is a Best Western Motel right down the street here. I'll get there really quickly here in a moment. I'm trying to get myself over there. Down here at the corner is a Best Western Motel. Most of you have seen this. It's the Best Western Motel next to the Walgreens. That's not where they put everybody that they brought in from California and various different places. They kept them in town in Apache Junction at a Best Western. Um, that's where Frank, Woody, and all of them stayed. And then they shuttled them in shuttle buses and shuttle vans over here to this location. And then there was a buffet-like breakfast where everybody kind of sat around tables. Myself never stayed at the Best Western. Um, I basically drove in and then got there like at three in the morning, and then I had a blanket and I slept in my truck in the parking lot. Um, that's where everybody started running into me in the parking lot because I was just hanging out there waiting for them to wake up and come out. And then we met out in front of the Best Western, and then I followed the shuttle little caravan here to the parking lot, and then they all met in here. When we got there, all the OTF early interviews and everything were done right here. This was where we did the production. Um, this was for the actual entirety of the television series. No, that's not it. Hold it. I'm not there. It's right here. Sorry. My mistake. But this here was the production office for Legend of the Superstition Mountains. Um, this is where we did all the production. This is where all the vehicles lined up and everything. And then inside we had this entirety of this building which had restrooms and had about two-thirds of this building is one big room. We did a lot of the filming, kept our gear and a lot of stuff in there. So that was the production office. And then all the crews and everybody for initially that stuff stayed at the Best Western, and then we all gathered here. Um, we only filmed really at two locations when we did this, when we started the pilot. And for those that first week... We obviously, I don't know why we weren't based out of the Gold Canyon Resort, but they were, they were staying at the Best Western Hotel, and then they were being moved to here, and then they went down the road. Um, they would every morning get up, um, they would go to that offices, have breakfast, and then they would come down the road here, and then they would come out Peralta Road, and then they would drive down Peralta Road to this site right down here. And this is known as the Quarter Circle U. And this is where a lot of filming, I'm sorry about some of these grids and stuff. I don't know why that stuff's coming up. Um, maybe it'll come off. No, it won't come off there and nothing will come off there. And it's telling you basically the lot survey numbers. Anyways, this is the Line Shack area. No, that is, yeah, that is. Okay, the Line Shack area. And, uh, oh, that's the, the tack barn. There's the old house the quarter circle u house 
and we filmed in and around and about there. We filmed in this barn area. Um, this was Howard's trailer at the time. I don't know. No, no, this is the new house. Howard's trailer was actually over here. This, this didn't exist at the time. Howard's trailer was down in here at the town Howard Hornick. And this is where we established some of our filming and so forth. And then we went out the road here. And when we went out here, we went out in these areas out here for a lot of um, B-roll footage and interviews and stuff. Um, this was just basically a number of the different sites in the open desert. So um, we would go out and probably we'd follow these old roads which move up till the, towards the wilderness area and we'd get up in here and film for a while and then walk back. So there'd be a group of us anywhere from 10 to 15 of us. Most of that footage was not shot or used anywhere in Legend of the Superstition Mountains. Um, but that was our primary location for filming. So we did a lot of the OTF, what you call interview footage stuff, at the Gold Canyon Resort. And then we spent a lot of time here. In fact, the ghost story thing we did, I keep bringing up this other stuff, the ghost story thing I did, and I'm sorry about that, we did that over here in amongst the hay. This is where they kept all the hay and the feed for the, and the cattle were back in here. And we kind of sat back in here. Um, in fact, uh, Magnuson did his OTFs here. And we did have one other filming location, which was the Lost Dutchman store, which is back here. Hmm, where is it? That's, that is, hmm. Am I missing something here? Is there... What is all this? Hmm. That's for the cattle and stuff. I'm missing something. Lost Dutchman's store was still there last time I looked. That's that. It must be... Huh. I don't see the store site. Is this an updated map? Did it burn down? With this updated map? All right, this is interesting, and what I was speaking of is obviously I'm looking at this site, and here is this same site, and there is nothing here. And it was confusing to me. Obviously, the new gate's been post placed in, but you can see the trees. But there's the two trees, but this was the Lost Dutchman store. Um, go right down here, and if I go here and move right down the strip, you see the same exact location that is here that still there's been some changes there but um the lost dutchman store it appears as part of my confusion is <laughs> it is it obviously is no longer there um must have burnt down maybe someone told me something about it and i didn't pay attention but the lost dutchman store was right here and it no longer exists so all the video photography and everything i have of that old place over the years it, it is gone you can easily also tell right here um, right here is that back way down into the creek there. But yes, the Lost Dutchman store, no longer in existence. This also was, there was parts of a movie set out here, which are long gone. So that that's kind of interesting that all that has um, disappeared and dissipated. So kind of interesting on that. That's my take on that. Okay, well anyways, we <laughs> sorry about this on that. But anyways, in the gates over here, they've actually double gated it up so you can't even get this far in. But we filmed at the old Lost Dutchman store site, which appears to have disappeared off this map. Um, very odd. So anyways, that was the two locations we did most of our filming at. The only other location that we filmed at, I would have to zoom out of here so people would see is you got to go way across here across town and you have to go up here and I can move there pretty quickly but here at Goldfield Ghost Town which I believe is about right here yes there's the Mammoth Saloon and we filmed here at the Mammoth Saloon I don't think any of that footage was used either sorry about these blurry pictures Maricopa County has much better um, satellite imagery um, we would use um, Google Maps and so forth, but they don't have any 
um, topographical information that we could basically go to that showed this stuff. There's the Mammoth Mine and the OK Corral owned by Ron Feldman. Actually, it's owned by Jesse and Josh Feldman. You go up the road here. Um, and then right up the road here is the Lost Dutchman State Park entrance here and First Water Trailhead and all that. And so all those things are there. And I will give a shout out to this spot right here too. Where is it? <laughs> Anyways, so that basically is it. Um, so those were basically, when we did the pilot, the primary locations. Now, there was one other location we filmed at. Here's the Superstition Mountain Museum, too, which is the first thing you'll come up on on Apache Trail. Um, the main um, site of the museum, the Elvis Chapel, the barn, um, which I think Bob Ward's cabin, part of that was built, the, the railroad, and then the, um, the ore crushing up here so forth and then here's the amphitheater which was pretty cool because i filled this thing completely up wall to wall um, last year for two different lectures um, they did not invite me back again so i don't think they care about sellouts and whatnot and i'm not a sellout by no stretch of the imagination which might be part of the reason because i think they kind of like people that um do stuff like that so that's basically when we started the pilot so that was a week of filming and all that stuff and um, that's how that initially all got started where we kind of like got into who's going to be part of the show who are these people going to be involved in the show and so forth now about four weeks later, they give us a call from a few days before they want to start filming. It was about a week before they started filming and basically told us we were going to meet here at the Gold, um, Gold Canyon Resort. Now, the room I had when I first came here, I was parking down here, but I actually got the room in here. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. It was, I believe... It wasn't this building here. I believe it was like this building here. I was right in here. This whole big thing here, 5A, was me. Um, now, these are all smaller rooms, like different smaller rooms. I had this big room, and it had a jacuzzi in it and a fireplace and all this stuff. Way too big for one person, and kind of the whole thing was set up crazy. The one nice thing I liked about it was I could see everybody coming and going from the cruise and everybody through here because everybody came walking down here to here um, for all their meals and stuff. So I could sit on my patio, which was right here. It was an uncovered patio, and I could see everybody. And that's how I first met Eric DeLeo. He was walking down through here, and I said, Hey, who are you? And all, oh, okay. But that's where I stayed the first week. So that was my... That was my digs the first week, and then I bailed out of there, basically all up and basically turned in my key and told them they could go um, themselves and said, uh, you guys are full of crap. This is not what I signed up for, and then there was negotiations for me to come back. When I came back, I was up in here, and I think I was right here. Um, all the crew were right in here. I don't know where Frank and Woody was. Delil was right across the way from me here. But we all were right in here together. I liked that because I was around all the guys. Um, Ian was right next to me. I think um, Glenn was across the way directly from me. Delil was this way from me. So either I could sit on my patio and talk to everybody or oh, what, not that. So that's that. That's where they would have us stay when we were in town. So I had a room there, but I still would go home. But that was that. And then the production office remained the same. We were down here for the production office, which is this long building here. We would come down every morning. You'd grab your breakfast burrito or whatever you had, and you come down here. Um, call times were usually between 6 and 7. I would be down here at 4.35 o'clock in the morning to sleep in my truck. And then I would get out and help some of the crews load up their gear into the vans and trucks because I'm just kind of like that. And, and that's how I got to meet a lot of the crew and a lot of the guy. We got to know the cameraman and everybody. I don't know if they were ever impressed or even gave a crap, but I would always help load some stuff up. They'd tell me union things. As soon as the producers got there, I couldn't help. But I liked to be there. I liked to mill about the studio, kind of know what was going on. Plus, because we used my truck on camera, so since we were using my, um, my King Ranch pickup truck for filming, 
they had to give me a call sheet. So I got in there in the morning to get the call sheet and hear what everything in the routine was. It gave me a kind of an insight on what we were doing, which is one of the reasons the first week I literally walked out of there because I got so sick of everything. Now, that's that first, we're starting that first week. And as we began that, um, initially it, it started with me and Frank and Woody at Goldfield Ghost Town at the Mammoth Saloon. But they made a change and what they wanted to do was have me meet Clay Worst. Now, I'm not going to show you Clay's house because that would be unfair to Clay. <laughs> Clay might. So they started the show off with actually stuff we filmed four weeks later because um, everything's out of sequence at times. But they had developed how they wanted to open the show. And so we had to go to a different location for that. And we'll be at that location and I'll explain that later. But then we did Clay Worst and all that stuff. And then Frank and I met up and we went to Tom Collinborn's house. So there was a lot of early stuff out of sequence because we met with Clay and then we went over to Tom's house and spent part of a day at Tom's house and did stuff there and had lunch and stuff. So most of the other cast wasn't that involved outside of a phone call that I'm on with Magnuson or Delil. I think Magnuson's the phone call I make when I leave Clay's. Um, I made that on the road between Clay's and um, going back to the resort. But other than that stuff, most of the first day or two, really, I didn't see the other guys. Um, I saw them at the resort. I wasn't getting to meet them, really. Um, it was just I, I got to hang around with Frank a little, and that was about it. So initially, those guys had a lot of free time. Now, after we get done here... Then we decided to start filming, and we started filming that first episode. Um, actually, no, we weren't there. Then we went down to Hewitt. Now i got to find Hewitt, find the highway. So we go down here on the highway, and then we start shooting in here. And then you got this road that goes up, and then you got to shoot off and branch off, and then you got to go up here. And we have to go <clears throat> up Hewitt Canyon, probably in the wrong spot. Um, could be in the wrong spot. Looks like the Hewitt Canyon Road. Anyways, we go up to Frank's claims. And Frank and Woody's claims up in Hewitt Canyon. So that's the problem sometimes, is you're looking at everything from the sky. Because this looks about right. Hmm, okay, we kind of cross around right here. Is it right here? I don't think so, though. That's up further up the road. So we got to be right in here. So Frank and Woody are there, and I think it's right about somewhere along in here. We're crossing the washes. Where's that wash? There's a wash that cuts right through. I don't think that's it, but we will take a shot at it. It goes down the hill, and ah, the pictures are bad. But anyways, we're in Hewitt, and we filmed that initial sequence where Woody and Frank and I meet down here in Hewitt at their lower claim. And that was the beginning of that. Still, there's no Magnuson and Delil. We, at that point, have to come back out of the mountains because <laughs> I've walked somehow, walked all the way through the mountains there. And now we got to come back and meet at the Quarter Circle U because that's where we're going to start filming where we all meet up. And everybody can see here, there's the Quarter Circle U. And the initial sequence where we're all meeting up is right here. So we're meeting out in front of here and here. And this is where we meet up. And we go down the road here. This road here to go out and then take the right. And that's where we started going with Sunny Tapia and all the horses and stuff. Um, because Woody is deathly afraid of horses, we were not allowed to ride the horses. Which meant we had to walk. So we had two wranglers with us, Charlie Johnston and... Um, Dean and they were wrangling because the horses were breaking loose and taking off and we walked down in about this is about where the boundary of the wilderness starts up again off the private property there's a corral down here and um, a shed and everything so forth and this is where you can take off for the reeds water and all those areas so we're out in here and this is about as far as we go we come back. Now, if you pay attention, you'll see this whole mountain range is off to the side. This is where Woody's getting spooked out and stuff. So we walked all the way out here, all the way down here for filming purposes before we, they just decided they didn't want to film anymore because it was a long way to walk and we were having to go all the way over here. So production decided that's enough of that because how long do we need to see you guys walking with these horses? So literally it breaks off and you see us walking and we're, like I said, we're right in this area somewhere in here when it breaks off. 
and it wasn't we hadn't come to that wilderness gate yet. And I think they were really afraid of breaching, doing much breaching of the wilderness area and filming. I suggested we can be over on the wilderness side. They could film from over the fence or even just creep over. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, there is This is a higher elevation back behind here, and they could film us. They chose not to. So because they chose not to, um, literally the next day we start back up and we're over in Hewitt now. <laughs> so it's not that far. As you see, it's a, it's a good distance. What was that? Oh, it's just a bear pot spot. But now we get picked back up into Hewitt and we're back up into Hewitt and so forth. And this is where the road breaks off and stuff. They got us about from where the upper mine is. They basically started filming us probably a half mile to three quarters of a mile outside of that. Um, because they filmed so much of that. And, and to be completely honest, I would say of what they filmed, they only used probably 5% because we filmed the horses broke loose. The horses pitched the gear. There was a lot of problems involved. I think they were worried about... Um, probably the Humane Society or something of the horses. They were pack horses. They were doing their normal thing, things that normally happen with pack horses. But they were worried about how that would come off or look, the optics of it. So, so much of that was cut, and then they just decided we're not going to film all this because that would be like four episodes of us just walking across the desert. So they decided not to do that, and then they film us at the um, lower lower falls let me see if i can find here's a uso usa topo map here's hewitt canyon obviously i was in the right spot okay so it's before we're at the hewitt hewitt road we're at hewitt, hewitt canyon and the road going up in and there's hackberry canyon and all that and by a spring and we're up in there and so we're in this area so obviously you can see that bias butte and that whole area and there's a spot right here. The road peters out there. But you come back down in here. And then that should be Wetlock. Is that Wetlock? It says Peacock. I know Wetlock comes off to the left here somewhere in here. There's the Hewitt Canyon Road and Roblos and all that stuff. There's the Whitlow Ranch Control Basin. Hewitt Station. Um, Herman Petrash's cabin's down in here too. I don't know if you can. There's no way you can even see the site. But this was the drive we had to take a lot of days going in and out for some filming, um, which is pretty kind of a rough ride to do every day, I suppose. Um, we were familiar with the drive and stuff, but there was a lot of um, the production company. Somehow, I never had a flat tire, never had a problem going through there, but they had flat tires daily coming through here. In fact, when they were out scouting the locations, they broke um they broke down several times, which I never understood. I'm like, how stupid are you that you keep breaking down going through that same spot? You think you'd learn the lesson the first time. Anyhow, so that being said and done, so we're going up through here, and this is generally, we started filming us coming back up in this area here um, while we had um, done some filming already at the lower claim. Then they wanted to do the upper claim, which is about where the waterfall, where Woody and Frank had found a lot of gold, where Magnuson lost some gold, um, trying to metal detect and find it again. So we pretty extensively through Hewitt Canyon up and down. There was a lot of stuff. Now, we did a lot of chasing legends through there, too, and we'll do a episode on that, some points and some places we were. Um, also, people talk about the... The stuff concerning Jesse's book is up in this area, and Iron Mountain, um, Roger's Trough, and all that kind of stuff is up in this area. And I've even just recently referenced the story of going down Wetlock to Fraser Canyon, which is this area too. So we did a bit, quite a bit of um, filming down in that area. And so once we were done filming there, we're back. And I believe we came back to the quarter circle U. So you're kind of like, oh, okay, so now we're back to the quarter U. We come through here, we're back down Peralta Road. And then we did a lot of photography and some interview footage and stuff right here before the Peralta Trailhead, which is the Don's Camp. So the Don's Camp is down in this area here. You see the overflow for the uh, horse parking lot from 
first water or not first water um, Peralta trailhead and where the, this is the location of the Dutch hunter rendezvous here and then this is the Las gold mine trail parking lot um, so it kind of gives you reference points as, and this is the road the junction where you make a left on Peralta Road to go up to Peralta trailhead this road goes out to um, quarter circle U which I believe it's gated about here now everybody can see it so that's all gated and stuff so at this point the idea is um, they're on the stone map thing which I'm not really happy with and they decide to take us all the way into Scottsdale so I don't know if I really want to go back that far out but we go out to Scottsdale so we're way out in Scottsdale and then we take a helicopter and we fly over and back into the superstitions. Um, we got way back to them over. But we come across the Salt River here to fly into the superstitions. Now the idea was for us to fly in. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. We're supposed to fly in and we're supposed to fly over this area and over Horse Mesa and up into here by Apache Lake and then back through and come down Fish Creek. And this was the idea that they had at the time. But the stuff they gave me on the map that they had me looking at was actually if you came down in the superstitions proper. So I brought us in right across here, across um, Canyon Lake, and brought us right in here across the mountains over down through here, down La Barge and took us down by the quarter circle U and took us down Hewitt and then we came back up and around across Coffee Flat and then we came back over into about Weaver's Needle which is back in here somewhere right in here but anyways that's not a lake that's shadows obviously but uh <laughs> took us back in took us across Bluff Springs Mountain and then took us back out where, where there was the infamous we're going back across and we headed across right in here cutting back across and this is where we caught the salt river horses right in this area they were cut off the road kind of back in one of these little off sections away from the highway and we came down the river and glenn said hey make do us that shot where we go down and so we did that where the horses took off running and we came down the river and stuff with um um mitch keldorf so which was really cool and then we went back to scottsdale so that was very cool the fact that we got to buzz weaver's needle um, go across bluff springs mountain and do a lot of the stuff we did was very 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 cool um, can't say how cool it was because it was that cool um, one of those things that you probably normally even if you have a pilot don't get to do oh that is a cloud but um, you don't normally would get to do but we got to do basically because Mitch, once he got in the helicopter with us and we took off, it was Glenn um, Evans, the cameraman, myself, Magnus, and, and Mitch. And Mitch said, you're the boss. Where are we going? <laughs> and so then I pretty much just picked where we were going. And from that point forward, it was a lot of fun because we didn't do, once we got off the thing, we, the talk, you know, all the chatter on the helicopter was about me telling Mitch places to go. Magnuson knew nothing. So he just stayed quiet, sitting there going, oh man, that's cool. Trip it. Well, well. And Glenn just was tucked away filming everything he could film outside and inside the helicopter. And Mitch did what he was supposed to do, and I did what I supposedly I was given because the map showed all these hearts down in the proper Superstition Mountains. But after we got done, the next day in the production office, I'm told, well, I was supposed to be doing stuff up in here. Well, I didn't know that because that's not the map they gave me. They said I was supposed to come over Horse Mesa and do all that stuff. So we get done with that, and now we go back because you know what? Now that we've done the helicopter trip, if you're facing, you know, you're, this is getting redundant now. But now we go back, and where do we go? We go back to Goldfield Ghost Town. Thanks again for joining us here at, Ch at Chasing Legends, and we will see you again next week with part two of filmed locations of Legend of the Superstition Mountains. Until then, take care, and always remember, I'm Wayne Tuttle, and you're not. See you next week.